started grade eight, my dad pulled me aside and said, the choices you make from here on out shape the man you're going to be the rest of your life. Traveling around the world, I was repping the 4170, like where I'm from, my family, my culture, my community, and I was lucky enough to turn that into something that no one ever expected, I barely expected. Oh, I see the giants. Being from the south side of Brisbane, I was like every other kid that I was sort of in school with, it was just sort of like fingers crossed we'd make it up as we go. I can really understand how kids can sort of get drawn off their own path a little bit. There is opportunity for, for bad things to happen around. And it's very, it's a very volatile place. It tests you. How you come into it really helps how you're going to get out of it. I think in some situations, carrying a knife seems like that's the only thing people can do. But something like a knife is a, is a lifelong decision. There are lifelong consequences to the decisions you make. I think if they, if they really take the time, you know, take the emotion out of your decision and think logically, is this gonna push you close to where you wanna be or, or take you further away? I tell people all the time, fall in love with what you want to do, and it'll drive you to where you want to go. I think a little more people need to just really bet on themselves a bit more and what they actually want and put effort into that. One of my favorite quotes is a Chinese proverb, if you stand straight, do not fear a crooked shadow. I'm nothing but a compilation of the decisions and choices I get to make. I get to choose what sort of person I get to be. I choose to live my life without a knife. So can you.